Hello once again, I'm Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Today we're going to be watching a crew from Kansas City Power and Light do what is called hot sticking on a 34 kV line high above the streets of St. Joseph, Missouri. Now, to set the scene, what you're going to see here is an existing pole in the background, new pole in the foreground. They're going to be moving three phases or three wires from the existing to the new pole. There's four linemen, two journey two journeymen, two apprentices in two different bucket trucks, and one of the guys is wearing a GoPro camera on his hard hat, which allows us to give you this uh, perfect view, bird's eye view of them using hot sticks right now to untie what's called tie wire, holding the existing lines down to some porcelain insulators. Um, once they, and you're also gonna see what's called a hot cutter here on the to the left, which is um, which cuts some of that tie wire around there. Once they've got, once they're ready to uh, to pull this button off of the top of that insulator, now they're going to go and use what's called a jib with a with a phase holder to pull this line. They're going to clamp that hot wire in. Again, they're using hot sticks because these are 34 kV lines, so they can't glove them. They're going to use that jib to lift that line off of its old porcelain insulator, and they're going to pull it up and put it on. You see now we're resting it on a new insulator or epoxylator on the new cross arm. And now they go back and, of course, open up that jib once they've secured the line in its new home and uh, you're going to see them now sort of doing putting the finishing touches on this tie wire securing a solid connection for that new insulator and the live yeah. line and yeah, uh, there's the hot here. cutter again cutting part of that coil off of this line so that uh, that's the first line that they've secured now they're going to put uh, what's called a conductor hood or an insulator cover uh, over this to protect against any incidental contact. Remember, we're going to see them do two more lines here. And now we're moving over to the other line. You see, this is on a temporary home that's called a hot arm that this jib is going to pull this line free of. Uh, it's a temporary cross arm put up there for this line transfer. You can see looking into the sun here as they pull that line away from its temporary home on that hot arm. I'm going to bring it down to the new insulator epoxylator down below. And as we did, as we saw before, they're going to set that on there. This is another shot of the same. What's kind of interesting about this is our GoPro wearer did not know this, but his jib is perfectly in the place of the sun, so you can see beyond it and see those tie wire coils and how they're using the hot sticks to secure that line to its insulator. So again, this is line two of three. You're gonna go back and release the jib with the phase holder. So they don't need that holding that in anymore. Now we're gonna switch around to the original side of the pole we were working on. Here's the second, the third of three lines, but the second on this side of the pole. You see he's tapping it in to make sure the grommet seats properly on that new insulator. Uh, the orange things around the lines here are called line blankets, obviously to protect any incidental contact. You also see that they can work from both sides of the line or the pole, uh, in this case, to secure the third of three lines or phases. You see sort of the artistry and skill it takes to do this type of work high above. Now they're going to take this bucket truck and go up and remove what's called a roller link stick. And that has been used in connection with the boom truck to hold uh, line three out of the way until they could move it onto, onto its new home. And he's going to send that roller link stick down. And he's going to come up in that same bucket and go and remove the hot arm. Remember, that was our temporary home for the... Uh, for one of the lines while well, we moved it down. So he's going to unstrap that. In front here, there's a, it's called a tie stick. That's the yellow tool that's going to push that pole pad up so he can bring that down. Now they're going to be removing 
all the conductor hoods. And next they're going to take away the line blankets. And this is from the ground view again. You can see we're almost done now. And uh, all three lines or phases are connected to their new insulator homes. And this bucket on the right is coming down. They remove the last of the line blankets. The other bucket will come down. Now we're down closer to the ground and they're gonna, a couple of miscellaneous tasks, they need to replace a light that was taken off the pole so that that didn't get in the way. And see that ominous looking machine in the background coming up? That's actually a pole puller. And it's gonna be used to pull the old pole along with a jack that they have, pole jacks in the truck. That's gonna be used to pull this old pole out and we'll move it around. That pole will be used for uh, sawdust or chipboard or I always say it looks like you could make a nice marine pier somewhere. So I'm going to lower that to the ground and uh, that then is our video on hot sticking a 34 kV line. As always we want to thank Kansas City Power and Light. Fantastic crews, fantastic work. Really interesting to watch this. It takes a lot of artistry and skill to do that hot sticking high above the streets. Once again, I'm Jim Ducart with T&D Howe Videos. Thank you very much.